Palin? Yep. Is it uh, Palin Regional Park? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll be there in a little bit. Where are you at? Uh, Larkender. Oh, yeah, you'll be here soon. See you in like five minutes. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay bye. bye. So what do you think your favorite trick is thus far at Phelan? That's been that's been that done. That has or? been done, yeah. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna do, I'll do top three. Top three, all right. Top three. Frony's front three to the pad. Yep. Uh, Drew's back 270 gap over the ledge past the chain to the rail. Yep. And Haldor's line back 50 to front 50 the ledge hard way back step to the rail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... <laughs> so what makes this spot really kind of like a just a very convenient zone is both of these rails are natural speed. Obviously, this one more than that one. You got to do some more work to make that one natty speed, but nice little drop in and a few speed rollers and you're good to go. And then if you have access to a bungee or a winch, it opens up a lot of other things here, like how Benny went up this a couple years back. Jeffroni did the gap. Drew did that gap. Riley did the ledge to the pad. Yeah, there's options. So it's always been kind of a, if you don't really have much in mind to do, just kind of come here and look around and come up with something new. What's the worst thing about this spot, Cody? This lovely pad that we have here at the bottom of each rail. <sighs> Not the funnest thing to have in your landing. <laughs> That was seriously, like, perfect. Textbook Valen. Yeah. Just <laughs> right into that uphill landing. <laughs> What do you think of stages after rails, Cody? Probably the best thing you could have after a rail. <laughs> Nothing like taking a seat right after you land something. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. 